get ready to witness the most unbelievable traffic incidents. Buckle up for an adventure where every intersection holds the potential for a jaw-dropping surprise. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Oh dear, it's so scary. It lifted all the way up. No wonder people often get away from the trucks. People are so distracted and they drive like they're in a NASCAR race. Drivers, please slow down and pay attention to law enforcement. Well, time for another set of tires if this is going to become a regular occurrence. Glad he's fine. Rock on, man. Really? He probably thought others didn't have a dash cam and decided to commit insurance fraud. Don't do that, man. What was wrong with him? He needs to be grateful that everyone is okay. Who is wrong in this situation? You decide. Wow, this high-speed pursuit, which reached up to 120 miles per hour, the suspect eventually was arrested. Unbelievable, the driver was trying to drive the car into the entrance. Was it a rough day for him? Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with number one. Before creating a bend that was more than 60 degrees, drivers wondered if the designer had even driven a container truck. Anyway, no one got hurt in this case. Both tried to dodge and this is what happened. Stay in your lane, guys. The angle of the video looks like the cargo in the container is not firmly fixed, rather than being too high. The centrifugal force of the Terran made the cargo concentrate on one side. Whoops! Luckily it wasn't a motorbike. Next time, be careful, man. Never tailgate the vehicle in front of you. Maintain a safe buffer to allow for sudden stops. Hmm, he should have braked. The other person should have done it in the first place, but don't accelerate at them. <laughs> well, for your own and other people's safety, let this situation serve as a warning and a reminder to drive carefully. Well, you can see an icy hill in Oregon bested numerous cars as freezing winter weather hit the state. He's driving like that at night makes me suspect that he's intoxicated. Don't drink and drive, everyone. Oops, you guys can consider using tire pressure monitoring systems and other advanced technologies that can provide real-time information about tire conditions. No way! The SUV was driving in the wrong direction, leading to a collision. Hopefully, they will identify that driver soon. Ugh! 
put an immediate stop to these careless behaviors, mate. No, I hate it when that happens. Hope the driver is fine. What are you doing? Uh. Bro, the goal being to have to wait in that line for a left turn. This is a similar case. Don't do it for your own convenience. It endangers other vehicles on the road. Don't run a red light, guy. Wait until the lights turn green before proceeding. I think they should have used a tarp to protect cargo. This is especially useful for loose items. Keep your vehicle visible to other drivers. Ensure that your headlights, brake lights, and turn signals are functioning properly. Be cautious of vehicles making turns, especially left turns, ensuring that turning vehicles yield appropriately and that you yield when making turns. Remain alert and prepared to respond when someone changes their lane. Whoa! Wish this guy better luck next time. Whoa! No, this must be a newbie driver. Anyone driving a longer bucket must pay attention to the inner wheel difference. This is why you should maintain a safe and consistent speed with the flow of traffic. Avoid abrupt changes in speed that may surprise drivers behind you. Wow, glad everyone is fine. Ah, the BMW driver was on their phone, obviously distracted. Glad there wasn't much damage to the car. Bro, if your car has ABS, don't pump the brakes. There's a sand salt mixture from the snow which occurred overnight here. Anyway, they are okay. Oh dear, everyone should conduct regular pre-trip inspections to identify any mechanical issues that may affect the vehicle's performance. Ugh. Staying focused on the road, mate. No, should have to slow down a little instead of racing with them. Oh no, if only they set all crossings to activate when there's a train coming on any set of tracks. Hope everyone is safe. Always heed the lights, gates, and signals at railroad crossings. When the lights flash, stop and wait for it to become safe and clear to cross. Speeding is not risky driving. It's a question of whether you can control it or not. Anyway, nobody was injured. Presumably the truck driver lost here and U-turns illegal. Do not imitate this. 
잃어버린 날이냐? Whoops. I wish they had been more careful if their vehicle was too high. On October 22, 2019, at the intersection of Willow Creek Road and Pioneer Parkway in Prescott, a dump truck with its bed lifted casually tore down a utility pole line and traffic lights. Wow! Glad he is okay. Do it. Oh. That was so close. Thankfully, there were no collisions. In an emergency, unless you are sure there is no car next to you, do not dodge randomly. Thankfully, there were no injuries. No, obeying traffic signals, including stopping at red lights. Traffic laws are in place to protect the safety of all guys. Ah, oh. oh, before making a turn, wait for a safe gap in oncoming traffic. Ensure that there is sufficient time to complete the turn without impeding oncoming vehicles. On March 3, 2023, police officers chased a stolen vehicle driving in downtown Atlanta. After a short pursuit, officers can stop the vehicle. Hey, bro, the driver is going to be bailing southbound on location. We have a driver right there. Hmm, I think he was just on his phone. Don't be like that again, my friend. Stop, bro! Do not continue driving in this case. Glad they ended it then, and rather than let the chase continue, no one was injured. Oh my! Glad the driver was driving defensively and there were no injuries. Never tailgate. It could reduce your reaction time. Look over your shoulder before opening the door, especially if you are parked on the side of the road. Or open your door on the side away from traffic. Remember this. What is he doing? Pay attention on the road, please. Bro, clearly signal your intentions when changing lanes. Don't do that. If you notice someone attempting to cut into your lane, avoid confrontation. Instead, let them merge safely and maintain a safe following distance. Oops! If your vehicle is equipped with advanced safety features such as collision warning or lane departure warning systems, use them responsibly. Perhaps you've heard this enough. But always adhere to the three second rule, maintaining a minimum of three seconds of following distance. Before entering an intersection, look left and right for oncoming traffic. Make eye contact with drivers when possible to confirm they see you. That happened to him, but he handled it very well. Wait until they are fully raised before crossing the tracks. Do not attempt to cross if the gates are still down or rising. Oh, keep a safe following distance from large trucks, bro. Be aware of its blind spots. Everyone, let's approach the roundabout with heightened awareness. Scan for cross traffic from all directions. 
Keep a safe following distance from the vehicle in front of you. This provides you with time to react if the vehicle makes an unexpected move. Oh my! The trucker might have seen the warning sign for the high grade crossing, but assumed he could make it over. At least no one was hurt. If an incident occurs, the one who loses the most is the truck driver, so always drive safely. I tend to give way when I see a truck. Someone doesn't react well under pressure and panic. Anyway, no one was injured in this case. Oh! He got stuck standing up. Be careful, man. If your vehicle is not equipped with one, consider installing a rear view camera. Reverse your car carefully, folks. It's good that there were no cars involved in this mess. Drive safely on rainy days, guys. If you're driving a larger vehicle, be especially cautious about blind spots. Be particularly cautious when approaching intersections. Many T-bone crashes occur at intersections, so be especially cautious in these areas. Hmm, I think that additional camera angles could be required to establish who is at fault in this instance. Thankfully, the incident was not severe and there were no injuries. Slow down as the traffic suddenly stopped, everyone. Whoops, abrupt movements can surprise other drivers. Make it a habit to signal well in advance of your intended lane change. Before driving, know the clearance height of your truck, including any loads on trailers. Choose routes with adequate clearance for your vehicle. Hmm, maybe bad road design has caused this problem. At least nobody was seriously injured. That is scary. At least everyone is all right. Wow, though this was going to be worse. Thankfully, everyone is okay. Ensure you have a clear line of sight before attempting to overtake. Don't overtake on narrow winding roads, especially near embankments. Guys, ease off the gas when they overtake. Oh dear, luckily the driver was able to brake the car in time. Don't overtake curves when the road is wet. Ideally, activate your turn signal at least 5 to 7 seconds before you initiate the lane change. This makes ample time for other drivers to be aware of your intentions. Only overtake if you can do it safely. Anyway, I hope everyone drives well.
And this is the same case. Patience is crucial for safe driving. If you had simply leaned the bike over more, you would have made it around the corner no problem. Glad he's okay. Whoops, this is why we need to wear helmets. Luckily, he is fine. Oh dear, there are those who deserve a license and then there are those who deserve to use nothing more than public transport. What is this? Is this truck driver using a phone or is there another reason? Let it be a lesson, an example, a caution in driving on wet roads. Oh my God. Who is at fault in this case? You decide. Bravo. Outstanding pursuit driving from this officer. No one was hurt. Return your license. Changing lanes is not allowed in the tunnel. Oops, that is too close. Ooh, who ran the red light? Oops, a blue Ford Taurus failed to yield at a green Ford Ranger, and they smashed head on. The Taurus driver admitted fault. No one was injured. Pilot did a fantastic job missing all the poles, wires, bridges, and signage to even get on the ground. Unbelievable, no one was hurt. You need a downshift before entering the turn. Power steering did not have enough revolutions, perhaps. We know the truck that hit the Kensworth isn't in the wrong, but why would the Kensworth driver pull up on the outside of another truck about to enter a roundabout? Let's drive like we know where we're going, and that's not into each other. The driver was suspected of being intoxicated and was driving recklessly on Highway 100. West Dallas police officer was able to perform a pit maneuver to end the pursuit. They parked their car too close to the cliff. Unbelievable, no one was hurt. The only reason they go on this road currently is because their GPS tells them to. Driver drives into the bike lane, gets collided by a truck in a bike lane, changes directions at the last minute. Neither of them are on the right. Never turn if you miss the exit. What was he thinking when he turned there? Well, if there was no dash cam or witnesses and the entrant vehicle recovered, the police would just record it as a speed related. Now, he probably didn't slow down on purpose to get the jackpot. All two wheels at once. Well, mechanical failure of some sort. You can see right behind his tag axle that something goes wrong and causes the driver to lose control. So you honk at him, but he thinks that he blocked you from passing and cleared the road faster. 
Hmm, stopping at red lights and turning into the correct lane are so overrated. Don't do that. Oops, who is that fault? Why do these truckies think putting on an indicator gives them the right of way? I have no idea. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.